Hello magical box lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in... Hey, we've got blue sky people, yay! Blue sky, yay! 3rd of February, blue sky, daffodils from a local shop. Not at my garden, I, w I wish, although I did spot some on around about near where I live, full flower, but every year, I'm not telling you where they are because someone's going to pick them, but every year there's just a patch of little tiny daffodils that are out. Every single year they are the first ever daffodils that I see. Everybody else, there's no daffodils in sight, but these always full bloom this time of year. It always makes my heart sing. Absolutely love it. Um, my snowdrops are out. Love it. So I hope you all had a really lovely in bulk. I did. I did it a little bit later. I normally celebrate on the first and I had to do it on the day later. I did it on the second. Uh, but yeah, I had a lovely time and I actually did the, uh, the wonky broomstick ritual. And yeah, I had a lovely time. So I hope you guys had a lovely celebration as well. So here we go. So later than normal. As you know, I always like to do my boxes in the month that they are released on. So like uh, a February box is released in February. So I do the video in February. Yeah. So which casket had a problem with one of their items? So they didn't release their box until a little bit later, which meant we didn't receive our boxes till later. And um, so here is January's, I nearly said February's, here is January's witch casket. So obviously it's February the 3rd, so nearly, but not quite. Uh, so yeah, I this is the first time I've ever done it like this. I, I, like I say, I think I've done well. I think I've done well so far because as you know I do work full time and I work night so uh, time is kind of difficult sometimes to fit a video in and things like that so yeah I think I've done all right so far. So yeah so this is the first one of this year for Witch Casket and it's going to be the first one of the talisman so I'm so looking forward to this. So spoiler alert I have opened it but just to take out the little noodle doodles as always I am open and honest with you guys that is all I've done. I've been so good I have been such a good girl and that is all I've done. If I did look at something I would tell you okay. Uh, this is the packaging that it comes in so it says fragile on there and it says sent with love from the UK. 100% biodegradable on the bottom there and um, which casket I do believe it was which casket yes it was uh, last month it did actually say on their return address which casket which it normally does not do and I mentioned that in my video and which casket actually replied so thank you which casket for that they did actually address that and they promised that this time it would not say that and it doesn't so it does not say anything witchcraft witch related on there okay so thank you for that witch casket and thank you for watching my videos thank you because as mentioned in my uh, video of the boxes that I'm not subscribing to there is one particular company that has never acknowledged me whatsoever and it's not which which casket at all because they've always support me and watch my videos so thank you very much which casket, which casket for that so yeah nothing on there which is related it could be anything could absolutely be anything okie okay right we're ready i'm so looking forward to this i want to see these talismans i was so good i was so good i didn't look i didn't look are we ready okay oh. so that is the social media platforms they're on uh, I'm on their Facebook group, a uh, really good Facebook group. They've recently been asking what type of things you want to see uh, in their boxes. Uh, so if you get on there, you know, if there's things that you're going, oh, I wish they did such and such in their box. I'm fed up of seeing so and so. I'm fed up of that. Get in touch with them. Air your voices out. They do listen. Honestly, they do listen. So yeah, that's the social media. So just type in which casket, whatever platform you're on, you will find them. They're on everything, to be honest. I will link uh, their their shop uh, on the description box down below. Now they're good and now to do a link. I will do that just to make it a bit easier. Okay, okay. So what? 
I don't even know what the theme is, guys. Let me just tell you what the theme is. So the theme is Magical Essentials for January. Not to confuse it, it's January. And on the back is what people have sent in. They are photos from past boxes. There we go. So thank you for sending those in. So this is the ingredients list of all the magical goodies that's inside here. I will refer to that if I need to, but I will try not to if I can't can't help it if I, <laughs> if I can help it okay I'll put that to that side you can see the oops sorry I'm knocking you about now right so the art print I love that I did see that and I love that so I'm just going to get everything out just get them out quickly and then we'll go in detail these usually like spell baggies I did see this <gasps> you couldn't hide this mm. I'm like, oh, it looks it looks like a very good box this one. That's why I'm like, I, I couldn't wait to show you. I, I really couldn't wait. So excited for this box. I haven't even undone that to be honest. Oh, the talisman. Love it because I've got all the little stones. We had the stones that were engraved, you know, with earth, water, fire, air, and spirit as well. I've got those. Oh, they're up there on my altar. And they had oh, I like that. Oh, sorry if people don't like spiders. Um, I managed to get those. I think I was just missing which one was I missing. I was just missing one, but I managed to get them because they had the um. Um, crystals that was associated with the element that's what I loved in a sense my box is empty I don't know where to start right let me just pick this first so this is the book of shadows page I haven't undone it as you can see I normally unpick this for you so it's a little bit quicker uh, so yeah I'm so excited well, you can tell I'm excited I'm like <laughs> Oh, just to tell tell you, uh, upcoming in my next video that you'll be that will be released is the pendulum jar video. Because uh, I've mentioned in a previous video that I've seen a pendulum jar and I was curious about it. And one of my subscribers, I forget, I forget who it was. I am so sorry, I forget your name off by heart. But thank you for saying that you'd like to see one. So I've I've made one, and I've just done the video for it. So that is upcoming. Uh, I'm not certain on the days, but I've just made it. So it's done, guys. It's done. Uh, so yeah, so keep an eye open for that. As usual, I do the, I know it's boring. I do the little YouTube short, just as like a mini advert, just to go, hi, it's done. <laughs> it's done. I've done it. Um, so that you know that, oh, pop over to watch the full length video, just in case you miss um but you know that it's been released and of course Helen's hints I keep putting them out I'm trying to do like one a week uh, I have filmed a few of them um, so one I think you've just had one and then there's another one for next week that I've already filmed so I'm, I'm trying to do like one a week on the shorts just just for now um, just so that you've got something to watch each week um, Just I'm just testing the waters with them if you're with me seeing seeing how we go uh maybe that'll do more i don't know yet we'll see <laughs> but i'm definitely not stopping them definitely not stopping them definitely not stopping them but yeah keep sending your helen's hints uh, in your description box because i absolutely love reading them and i keep writing them down and your hints will be uh, submitted if it is a hint that's already been done i will let you know if i'm not going to pop it in uh on one of my hints i will let you know but other than that, they're all going to be submitted. Okay. I, I absolutely love reading them. So this one, I do love these. I, it's not bad from that. I don't think I'll show you the seals. All these seals, they change every single box. And this is what I love. Both which box and which casket do this. They change all the little details, like stickers and things like that, per box little tiny attention to details I love so these you can buy 
separately uh, in, on their online shop. Um, as you know, I don't hold these up for you to copy because a lot of companies do hold copyright and so I would get into trouble. And I always say, if you want free, sorry, it's really, it's like parchment paper. If you want free information, go on Instagram. Instagram is one of the best ones. And Pinterest as well has got some really good ones. Lots of free information. You don't have to stop a YouTube video going click, 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 trying to get it. It's really hard to do. But I will hold up at a distance so you can get the layout, see how beautiful the design. And it just explains Cassie in a Magic Circle. Of explain the many ways of how to cast a magic circle that's it so if you want to learn how to cast a magic circle type that in and there's so many different ways uh, I always recommend Mystic Primrose she's absolutely amazing if you're wanting to follow somebody on Instagram follow her she does really really cool videos short sweet mwah, videos and she does a description as well brilliant love them plus it's all filmed in purple you guessed that, didn't you? You know me by now. So that's the parchment scroll for the Book of Shadows. So I always keep them um, in like a poly pocket. So my Book of Shadows is just a leave arch folder, poly pockets with A4 paper. That's it. Speaking of Book of Shadows, that's what this is. I did see this because how beautiful is this? Okay, so I'm trying to get it right. Can you see that? how beautiful is this it feels like well everything's like vegan and that so it should be fake leather oh, can't say it, fake leather uh, so it says we wanted to design a work, book worthy of being filled with your time-tested magical rituals and spells and we hope this beautiful book of shadows will be one you cherish forever so it doesn't say what materials are used but I do know that all the items are usually cruelty are cruelty free and things like that so it won't be real leather it'll be fake stuff can you see the it's in, is it embossing is the crap i don't engraving i'm not certain of the correct terminology but you know what i mean that's beautiful i'm trying to but you see the shadow shadow effect book shadow ah got it yeah it's playing on the back and then you've got these so you can undo these this is my problem with a lot of like books of shadows out there they're a book obviously they're a book <laughs> but then if you've made a mistake then you're stuck with it or you want to put that page behind that one you can't um but this one can you can you take the pages out i don't know if you can i don't think you can no you can't with this one i thought you know because of these you could take them out no you can't so that, that is my only complaint. I would have loved one that, you understand what I'm saying, you, where you can take the pages out and mix and match the pages. Uh, this one, it's, well, it's absolutely beautiful, look at that. So my advice for anyone who has made this beautiful, this is beautiful. Anyone starting out, if you're making a book of shadows and you're new to witchcraft, my advice, is don't buy a beautiful book don't that's my advice get a a4 binder like what i've done get all your information first okay then when you're certain of what you want get it all in in the order that you want to write your book of shadows then work on your book of shadows when you've got everything how you want it okay so prepare your ring binder how you would do your book of shadows so my ring binder is my book of shadows so if i were to copy it out i would copy it out word for word into that how it is now did that make sense so don't just go straight away oh i'm uh, day one of witchcraft i'm buying this and i'm writing in it You'll be scribbling it out, and trust me, a lot of things you, you you will go. I don't need that anymore. I know it, because at first you're writing everything down, every tiny thing, every little snippet, every hint and tip. You're writing everything down. A year a year later, I'm like, why did I write that down? I know that. I'm fed up hearing about that. You know, trust me. Yeah. So 
when you're first starting out, you, by all means, buy one, but don't write in it. Save it. Save it. Yeah? It's not necessary. Get a lever arch file and just one from your school. Keep it from your school, your college. Cheap one from your local shop. Just write in it. Or a notebook, whatever. But save this for best when you've got everything down what you want and then pop it in here. Or that that's my advice anyway. That's my advice. That's what I give. It's up to you if you take it or not, but that's that's my my own my own advice because I've got multiple what I call grimoires, which is just full of my magical information. That's what my grimoires are. I've got one that's just full of my from my magical boxes. As you know, I put them in the uh, write them out, put the little information card, and put in uh, put them in a poly pocket. That is just full of from my magical boxes, and I put these in a poly pocket, and they go in as well. So that's grimoires for them, and then I put like all oh, my research is in another one, and then I divide them up. You know the um, A4 dividers, and I'll divide them up in like spell work, herbs, crystal, uh, deity work, just and then hints and tips, things like that. I'll have divided them up, and I've got multiple ones of them for different things. Um, so if anyone just went in my room they wouldn't know oh it's a magical working but they'll just think oh it's like college work and then I have got just one like that is particularly what I call my book of shadows and that is just my rituals that I've actually performed it's not stuff that I'm going to do it's just stuff that I have done and it's in it it's got information that I've added to it like oh did it work out didn't it work out thoughts and feelings and then I've got my, well, it's a diary, uh, and in it, uh, I just, just write my diary day to day, and then any magical thoughts, feelings, I write at the back, and I'll put like a, an asterisk like of the date, so if I've had a particular dream, because I don't do a dream diary, I don't do that, uh, any particular thoughts or feelings, I'll write down anyway in my normal diary. But I will write at the back like a date, an asterisk, and you know, like um, say I've had a dream about Baba Yaga on the third of February. I'll write third of February Baba Yaga dream. That'll be at the back of the diary. So then I now flip back third third of February Baba Yaga. Then I'll read my diary. That's what I do. Um, so I don't have a separate dream journal because I can't, I'm I'm not in the right headspace. I know a lot of people say. When you wake up, write a June journal, do that. I just can't do that. I've tried it, can't do it, don't work, don't work. I just can't do it. So there we go. Right, next. <laughs> Beautiful candle holder. Now these you can use for birthday candles. I don't know if that is what it's actually designed to do, but you can. Uh, that I'm I'm actually thinking it's an incense cone holder. It is, isn't it? It's an incense cone holder. It's an incense. There's me going. It's a candle holder. It's an incense holder. Let me just check. It is, isn't it? Yeah. An altar essential. Let me hold it the right. Uh, designed to hold incense cones, cones and sticks, and finish with a pentacle to alter, offer protection and represent the elements in magical space. But yeah, you can pop birthday candles in there. I'm sure. I'm sure that's deep enough for a birthday candle. I'm going to have to try that because I use a lot of birthday candles in my magical workings. How cool would that look? Birthday candles and an incense cone in there. Ooh. You can see the light bulbs going off, can't you? And I love that. But it's been that beautiful, that made out of wood. That is beautiful. I love that. Yeah, the, it looks quite deep. But definitely birthday candle size, that. Next. Uh, peaceful sleep incense. Uh, a tranquil blend of jasmine and violet. Oh, violet's quite a spiritual blend as well. Uh, 
Light the incense in the firm, peaceful sleep I call on thee. That I shall rest tran tran tranquilly, tra I can't say it, tran tranquilly, tra oh my god. I shall rest right good, that's better. <laughs> Tranquil, quill, oh, tra tranquilly, tranquilly. I shall rest tranquilly. <laughs> I think I'll stop at that. It smells really nice anyway. <laughs> I shall rest very good. That I'll leave it at that. <laughs> On to the stone. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> and no, I don't edit my videos. As you can tell, I never edit my videos because I like you to see the real me. Uh, what's and all <laughs> pun intended pumpkin hollow yes shout out to jess thank you so much jess for your beautiful box if you've seen her pumpkin hollow uh, video yes uh, beautiful jar i absolutely love it um, little ghost there and thank you uh, for the shout out as well jess i saw it thank you very much uh, so what have we got here so we've got a white quartz so you get your information card as usual look at that See what I mean? The attention to detail. I love that. And this is beautiful. Almost like an opal. I love that. I don't think, do I own a white quartz? It feels so strange as well. I'm getting a feeling of like it's containing something, it's holding something inside. That's, that's such a strange feeling. That is beautiful, that. I don't know anything about white quartz in particular. See, tiny, tiny writing. That is my only, my only thing, but this is, is uh, my eyesight. I do struggle to read these tiny, tiny cards, uh, but that's, that's me. Uh, so white quartz is, <laughs> here we go. Uh, believed to sharpen the mind and enhance wisdom and learning. <laughs> Here we go again. It's tranquil. Why can't I say that word? And peaceful. I can say peaceful. Vibration which can bring calmness and clarity. So it's, it shares a lot of the qualities of clear, clear quartz. Uh, yeah, I like that. It just it feels like there's something inside it to me. It's it's holding so it's I how can I explain it? It feels like you know like when you I I feel like something's hugging. It feels like you know if you work with crystals, you you understand the feelings that you get from crystals. It feels like a warm hug in a crystal. I can feel it's enveloping me. It feels warm. It feels nice. It feels it does feel really nice. does feel really lovely and the texture is really strange as well it feels lovely I absolutely love it sorry I'm I'm just I'm just you know when you get a nice crystal you you just want to hold it and hold it and hold it uh, I know people go what's she going on about it's only a white crystal you know what I mean um but yeah I like the egg shape as well it's like nearly a nearly a perfect bird's egg you know, if you hold it a certain way, you, you could fool someone that is bird's egg. I'm popping that away because I'm boring people now. Who, uh, you know, go, oh, shall that? I'm saving the talisman. So what have we got here? Fire burn cauldr and cauldron bubble. The enamel pin. Nanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanam
on before I lose it. Okay, okay, nothing there. Right, so we've got this. Um, so if you if you're not cool with spider webs, look away. There's no spider there. I've just had a little look, but the spider webs on this box. Uh, so it's spell candle holder. But the, the box is absolutely cute. I'm going to struggle to. I don't know if there's going to be a spider web or anything on this candle holder. So just just look away till I've checked it out, just in case there's spider on it. I don't know. Because as you can see, I haven't opened it. No spider on the holder. You're okay. That is lovely. Just basic, what you need, no nonsense, no fuss, candle holder, what I like. It reminds me of a chess piece, like a pawn, or a, um, a queen, perhaps a queen, or something like that, or a knight, um, not a knight, um, oh, you know what, you know what I'm thinking of, I'm trying to think off, off the top of my head, I haven't played chess for years, I'm not very good at it. That is beautiful, I love that. No nonsense, no fuss. It is what it is. Um, I've actually got um, Witch Casket do the little tiny um, ceramic ones. In fact, they look like the white um, quartz. Uh, little tiny ceramic ones. Get those, they are perfect. You know, for the um, the little candles that we get, little spell candles, they hold them and they're perfect. I've got that for, no, I've, I've got six of them. I've got six of them. And they just hold them perfect and you, you just pick candle wax off they're just just so perfect I, I, like I say I've got six of them I just use them interchangeably I've got some that are working on some that I'm not and then obviously I've got loads of candle holders but then I'm always using them for those little candles and then I've got the little I don't know if I'm, I'm sorry which casket if it's which box that I got it from but it's the wee willy winky one the and I don't know any other way of calling it, but it's the Wee Willy Wink one with like a dish and then a little candle holder. They normally come with a handle, don't they? I highly recommend you getting any of those because they're perfect. You know, if you're working with a candle and herbs, brilliant. If you see them in any charity shops, always pick them up. They are brilliant. Because you ain't got a mess about with a plate, a candle, and then you've got all the mess. It's all in one. Love them. But yeah, love this. Absolutely love this. And this looks like it's going... This looks like it's going to be one for the smaller size as well. So that is beautiful. I love that. Thank you. You can never have enough candle holders. Because I've got candles that are working candles working on spells at the moment. Uh, ones that are, I've still got to get rid of, to be honest. Cause yeah, I, I, I work full time and I work night shift. So I have the space where... I've put spells that are finished and I've told them that they're finished. So they're the done, they're redundant and I put them in this box if it's finished. And then the next time I go to an area to dispose of them, they're disposed in proper places, proper ways and such and such. And you understand what I'm, where I'm coming from. Um, so yeah, so that's why I've got multiple things for multiple uses. So we are down to... That goes with that, to that, to that, to that. Right, art card. I love that. That is going to go. I've got, again, shut your ears, witch casket, if it wasn't you. We had a potions box. It was either witch casket or witch box. Not certain which one of you guys it was. I apologise if it was the opposition. Um, but I've got that, um, you know, the pent pentagram uh, rack. I've got one of those with my potions on. Um, potions, that sounds really, ooh, Harry Potter, doesn't it? And my potion bottles. Um, and I've already got an art card with a potion bottle on. And this is going to go, um, it's like the backing of it. And then the potion bottles in varying sizes. This will be another one to go in the background of that. So thank you for that. I love it. And let me show you up close because I've been greedy with it. Look at that, how beautiful that is. See the crystals, that is gorgeous, I love these. These are usually done by the in-house designer. I think it's something called Stell or something like that. So that's beautiful, I absolutely love the artwork. As you know, some of these I will keep for like altar work, 
or a bookmark or some I, I will just save and I'll bring out for like seasonal things for like my old work and things like that. So I'm going to go for this now. So what have we got? I've, I did have some scissors somewhere. I have my trusty unicorn scissors. Hmm. Are they near me? <laughs> so we have got a peace of mind ritual kit. Try not to chop my fingers off. Okay, so as always, we've got the instructions. Oh, I like that. Look away if you don't like bats. So we've got a cool bat. Look at that. I love that. You can look back. Bat gone. <laughs> and you've got the instructions there. I try to be mindful best that I can if people do have um, like fears of things. I do apologise if ever I'm showing you things and you, you, you know, if you're going, oh, I don't like that. I do apologise if you are scared of things and I'm going, oh, is it, you know, such and such. And because, I mean, the only thing that I'm like, I have fear of is I'm not, I'm not very good with water, weirdly enough. Uh, I've explained in another, um, one of my videos that I, I did nearly drown once. <laughs> it's a good mess of all places. And, um, yeah, I'm not afraid of sharks. So that kind of goes together. But that was because of my brother, you know, I I was born in 1977, so I grew up when all the cool horror films was about, so of course there was Jaws, and I used to obviously, obviously have a bath, and my brother used to be hiding just beside the bathroom door, singing the Jaws theme tune, so you can imagine how quickly I used to get out of the bath. So yeah, so that scared me quite a bit as a child growing up so I've still got that thing about sharks never had a, a nasty interaction with sharks or anything like that but that has just scarred me for life and I can't watch sharks but we did actually uh, have a marine fish tank and we did actually have a uh, like little um, marine shark type thing it was um, like a, I can't forget the the type it was it was like you know like these little like dog shark things a shark that don't look like a shark if you know what i mean and it was so dopey honestly it was rubbish you're putting food in front of it and it's going what <laughs> and that kind of helped me get over my phobia just a little bit uh, but i'm still with great white sharks no i wouldn't want anything to harm one I, i'm dead against people harming them and things like that um but i do like hammerhead sharks i think it's because they don't particularly look like sharks it's all the teeth it's the teeth that does it for me but yeah i love alligators crocodiles and you're more likely to get eaten by one of them i should imagine because they can go on land and water and all of reptiles so to me they're just like a great big reptile or dinosaur or something anyway i've, I've kind of just gone on a tangent again so i apologize for that so back to what we're doing so peace of mind ritual so this is obviously to help you get to get peace of mind with something uh so it's to get get things get things off your mind anything that's weighing heavy on your mind uh yeah to so you've got a white spell 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 candle so that will go with the candle holder and we've got lavender and passion flap Thank you, which casket you have listened. This is what I mean, which casket listens, okay? What they have done, Lavender, they have actually put it on here, number one. Thank you, Lavender, number one. Thank you, which casket. Thank you. Passion flower, number two, number two. So what you can do, if you don't, I'm probably not going to do this spell. I can write on here, Lavender. I can write on here, passion flower, pop them in my herb drawer. So when I need a spell for passion flower, it's not something I use all the time. So save some of this back. If I if I do this spell, save some back. Because you don't need all of this. Just because when you know when you get these spells, just because they give you all this, don't think you need to use it all. I need a little bit, yeah. So don't use it all, because it's not very often you, lavender, yeah. You, you, you get all the time with the stuff. You get it in your garden. You know what I mean? It's easy to come back. Passion flower, not so much. So keep some back. And then when you do come across, you go, oh, look, 
some, got some of that just right on it so thank you very much witch casket thank you for listening to us that's what i love about witch casket witch boss box and other companies like that i know i keep mentioning other companies in your video i do apologize for that but it's it's because you're all good companies that's why i keep mentioning it and uh, you all listen to what we say and you, you you do these things for us so thank you for that thank you but yeah right on these what they are pop pop away pop in your head thing then when you come across the spell goes oh passion black i've got that love that thank you so much and because I've, I've been saying i wish you'd say what they are because i don't always want to do these spells um or well, sometimes you go which herbs which because which herbs um because some are quite obscure um and especially if you're starting out you don't always know what that what, what does rosemary look like what does sage look like you don't know um so you need someone to go number one is that number two is that so that is a huge huge help something easy and simple for a company to do but it's a huge help for us witches and i absolutely love that a million percent so thank you oh thank you right onto this so it looks like we've got an altar cloth i'm always excited for altar cloths because the amount of holes i put in mine uh i always get wax on them i don't know how because i use a lot of um i don't know what you call them uh they're like seven day candles you know for my deity candles uh i've got my hecate and i've also got my baba yaga i've got some um the ones that are in glass encased in glass uh, my deity ones are the glass ones, but then my spell ones, I suppose. Yeah, it's my spell candles, isn't it? That makes the mess. Uh, and then my incense. I always get incense bits all over and the little tiny holes. It's like um, bookworms been been in them. I spilt wine this morning on them because um, I use for for my in bulk um, rituals. I used um, milk. So I left that overnight, got rid of it in the morning, and then I was refilling uh, my chalices up because I have my main chalice, and then I have my deity chalices, both deities, and then I have one for for, for my friend, my for for my uh, mandrake. He has one as well, and offerings and such. And so I was replacing all that, and I spilled wine all over, so I've got wine on it. So I thank you. You can never have enough of these, but I always say don't spend a lot of money on them, guys. Don't, really don't. Nothing above the fibre, okay, or less. Even just buy a, something from charity shop. Get a beautiful scarf, a couple of quid from charity shop. You know, just, you know, a, a neck scarf. You can layer them up, whatever. Just, you know, don't spend a lot of money. Because there are some gorgeous ones out. They could be like £20. Don't go whole hog, guys, because you will put holes in, you will spill things on. And this looks amazing, and I know what it's for. This is not an altar cloth, but it can be used as such. This is the back, right? So this is the back of it. So you can use this for something. You can use that side for the altar cloth, but this side is to go with the item I'm going to show you now okay so can you see what that is okay because what we have got here are casting stones I don't use casting stones I don't own casting stones so I am so glad we have got this so they're a little bit like runes so it looks like we've got a full information book oh my goodness yeah full information book so this is going to be interesting are there going to be witches witch stones i don't not things i use i my divination uh, i've explained the pendulum um i tend to i'm into tarot and oracle uh, i've done um, some oem i do that sometimes i don't do it always 
uh, but I'm not really into runes. Uh, I think it's because I don't follow any Norse at all. Um, my deity is Hecate. Um, I've also got Baba Yaga. So I've got Baba Yaga is my, she's my craft side of things. She, because I'm a knitter, I, I, I knit. Um, she's the one that influenced the knitting side, this, um, the arts and crafts side of me, the, the more mundane, um, yeah, how, how can I explain it? Um, she's the one that got me into doing, um, come on Helen, uh, cross stitch and things like that. She's the one that influences things to do now and here and the home and things like that whereas Hecate she's she's more like a goddess type symbol yeah is how I see her and sorry so not the tables and that's how I approach her now I talk I talk to them completely different in fact I talk to Baba Yaga like I would do uh, perhaps my grandma or something like that um whereas Hecate I talk to her completely different I talk to her like I would do a goddess um but I've never felt inclined in the Norse respect, and I think that's why I've never gone in the runic sense. Um, but I've never, I mean, years ago, I think I did own some, um, it weren't rune stones, I think I got some witch, uh, witch's runes years and years and years ago. Um, but I don't think I used them. I got some bones. I used them a few times, but they just didn't seem to do anything for me. Um, you know, you get these things and you're like, oh yeah, I want them, and tried them and just didn't take off. Whereas the pendulum straight away, oh, yeah, no, yeah, no. And the fact that you can talk to your loved ones and things like that, 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 because I mean, I, I've lost both my, my parents, so to be able to talk to them is like amazing. Um, so, yeah. And I love my, my tarot, I love my tarot. The types of things you can get out of tarot is just, oh. Anyway, I'm digressing again. So we've got these, I'm having to look now. So I'm not certain, oh, these, these are casting stones. So I'm not certain if these are witches' rooms or not. I don't know. So we've got a tree. And another symbol. These are like on like what I'd call river stones. I haven't looked at the book yet. It's absolutely beautiful markings. So then what you do is you like hold them in your hand and then you just throw them and then wherever they land, I presume, is whatever it says. Question mark. Can you hear the little, I don't know if you can hear little tippy taps. That is my dog, George. Spiral, I love the spiral. It's so strange. Before I was got into witchcraft and things, I always used to draw the spirals. I always used, to, you know, doodling. You know, when you just always spirals, and then I learned what spirals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was witchy before, and you was witchy. <laughs> so yeah, they're not witches' rooms, are they? So casting stones. So we've, this, I'll show you the booklet. So we've got symbols there. So that symbol is for physical health. So if it lands on, so that, if that stone, that stone is for physical health. I'm trying to hold it up. That stone is, represents physical health. So if that lands on, say, the change one, which is number five, it means there's a need for change or what you can be doing to improve your health. Take an honest look at your lifestyle. See where change can be better made. Right. Okay. I'm just trying to... I'm not explaining this very well. Okay. There's instructions on the back. Right. A little book of instructions and insight on how to read your magical casting stones. A unique divination tool created exclusively by Witch Casket. So it's exclusive to Witch Casket. Okay. So hold the stones around six inches from the centre of your casting cloth and release them. Any stones which land in the new numbered zones on the cloth are to be read. Use your intuition or to tune into this booklet for guidance. 
If there's a specific area for which you'd like answers, you don't need to cast all of the stones. You could cast only the stone relevant for your questions. Okay, so let me show you. So you've got this mat. I'm doing my best to show you guys what you get. So then you throw your stones onto your mat where they land. And I've just got a tree. The tree has landed on number four stability. I've just, just thrown that. So I look for the tree symbol. So I've looked for the tree symbol and it's landed on number four stability. So only from stable ground can large tree grows. And this is the same for you. Strive to create a stable environment for yourself where you feel secure and you can nurture your growth. So yeah, so it's, you just throw them on there and what you see is what you get. So really, really cool. Like it. So I hope I've explained that. I hope I've explained that. It's kind of difficult to do because I haven't got a camera that... Cam I always say camera, it's only a phone. I haven't got a tripod stand that goes that way. You know what I mean? To look downwards. Uh, I should really invest in one of those. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. So they're not witch runes. Um, they are a creation specifically um, for witch casket. And beautiful, beautiful stones. They are like river stones. And the baggie. I don't know if I showed you the baggie. So I will definitely be trying these. Definitely be trying them because I have got a table. It's just I got it from a charity shop. They're like four pound. Uh, it's like like that, and it's one that leaves go up, and it's my divination table. Uh, I put my tarot on there, uh, so at the moment the leaves are down. So then put the leaves up. I'll pop this on it. Yeah, it will fit. Cast the stones. Oh, you can just pop it on the floor and just cast them. I love that. But like I say, if you don't want to use it for that, turn it over. You've got an altar cloth. And it feels nice. If it, ah, I love that. Um, there's also, you can get do them with like little charms. You know the charms you get for like earrings and charm bracelets? You can do ch other charm casting. I've seen that. There's so much, so much you can learn about witchcraft. It's absolutely amazing. Right. I've saved the best till last. So Witch Casket mentioned that they are starting their talisman series. So every box from now, you are going to get a talisman and the talismans are going to represent one of the elements. Now, I wasn't certain whether the talismans were going to be representative of the type of box that they were going to do because I was a little bit, but we've already had the elemental boxes from Witch Casket. So a little bit, are we going to have that? Because which box have just done an elemental box? But they haven't. They've just done the talisman. So I'm proud to show you the very first talisman of the earth element part of the collector series. And it's called the elemental talisman collector series. And these are exclusive to which casket you cannot get anywhere else. The, you can wear them, you can hang them, you can take the little thing off, you can use them on your altar and I absolutely adore it. So here we go. Look at that. So that is for the element of earth. They gave us a sneak peek for this one and how beautiful is that? It's like, I'd say 50p size. So if you're in England, you understand what I mean. Uh, if you're in America, I apologise. I don't know your currency, so I can't give you a, a, a guesstimate. I, I've never been to America, so I don't know your size, sizes of your uh, currency. But if you're in England, it's about roughly the size of our 50 peas. And it says, which casket earth? And it's got the hanger. So if you are working with earth, you can wear it. You can add it to a charm baggie. If you don't want that on there, you can clip it off. You can clip off the other bit. If you really, really don't want that, you could clip that off and file it off. 
I love that they've done that so you've got that option and I absolutely adore that when they said that they were doing it because I love anything that adds to your altar um, um, you know I've got the three altars and I love that so yeah earth I don't know what they're doing next that is what came with it and it explains to you the collector series so that is January 2023 witch casket yay so thank you very very much uh, Helen's hints I am still doing uh, if you have a hint that you would like to share then please leave it in the description box down below uh, let me know if you want me to leave your name on or take your name out of it I am just using your first name and um, not using your surname um, but if you'd like to be anonymous I'll just say it's by a subscriber because I'd like to acknowledge you guys because you know I love how I love each and every one of you because I'm so grateful for everybody and I've just reached a milestone I've just reached over 500 of you beautiful people so I thank and love each and every one of you I really really do love you all so thank you thank you so much uh, so yes yeah, so please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and yeah please stay safe keep your loved ones safe and I hope you have a magical day bye for now bye